Breaking news, Pierre-Emerick uh, Aubameyang is signed with the second best team in Germany, Borussia Dortmund. He's not going anywhere, Jason. Yeah, but here, okay, here's I one. called into reports because it could change at any given moment, probably changed five minutes ago before we actually decided to do First the First of all, good for Dortmund fans if this is true, because yeah. to lose someone like Aubameyang, who's their, obviously their front force, and a team that does want to compete year in and year out with Bayern and has proven in the past that they can beat Bayern in, mm -hmm. uh, in Bundesliga play. I'm happy for Aubameyang. I don't know if it's the best move for him because I thought Aubameyang should be competing at the higher ends of the Champions League at this point. He's already won Bundesliga with Dortmund already, mm. correct? Yeah. So he's gotten that trophy, but you're, I don't know if Dortmund's gonna be able to put a team with, with, with what the Serie A has done this summer, with what Ligun has done this summer with what the Premier League possibly has done this summer. Yeah, it's <laughs> just be real. It's very true. <laughs> I don't know. There's, uh, we did several clips talking about players that were uh, rumored to be leaving this year. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang was one. Of he was course. in a PSG shirt, wasn't yeah, he? He was near, at PSG. Near enough. He was basically uh, touted, but at this point, we don't really know. As you, we were on a call earlier today, uh, or last night. Sorry, just catch up. You know. I don't know the time Romance. change is crushing. Um, me. But we were talking about how the Benucci <laughs> transfer, like there was no rumors, there was nothing. He just like, there was rumors for him going to other teams, but then we woke up one morning and it was like, oh, Benucci's an AC Milan player. Already signed, sealed, delivered. Did you, you go. share your theory? Uh, what? That, yeah, I shared it with uh, with Zach that I think that AC Milan's got dirt over Juventus. Like, yeah, it's just, I went, there's no other excuse. Like, you sell him to your rival club for a half the price that you could have gotten for him last year. I went a little bit more down the InfoWars hole and said that uh, Juventus killed the guy. <laughs> maybe they Not anybody it. specifically, they're Juventus, called, but just Juventus. They called the old lady, maybe they just killed an old lady. They killed an old lady. <laughs> and they're just hiding it. So there's our theory, <laughs> uh, right down the conspiracy theory. Trouble but in turn. 31 goals in Bundesliga last season. Uh, they won the German Cup and they finished third in the league, which was pretty good considering they had a rocky season, I think. He's got three years left on his contract. So do I think it's a good move for Aubameyang? Yes, he's obviously a clear fit. And now do I How think that Dortmund, 31. Uh, oh, no, 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 he's not 31, uh, he's 28. Sorry, so 31 he's not, goals this season. He's young, but not that young. He's hitting his prime, I think, yeah. in the next couple of years. But so the move would come now, or yeah. which would should it come now? I'm surprised that he hasn't moved, I'm gonna be honest, but good for Dortmund. They are dealt with uh, the gaping hole of a lost talent nearly every single year. Hummels left last year, well on with Mika Tyrin. They got Gotza back, which helped, but then the season before, Lewandowski, blah, blah, blah. So it's good to keep hold of a talent like that. And to hopefully this team goes strength from strength. Um, and I think that they, they obviously changed their coach this year. I think uh, Tuchel left and I was not, is thrilled at that. I thought that he had some good ideas, but who knows? It just gives, uh, uh, what's his face? That American guy, another player to play with. Christian Pulisic. Yeah, another player to develop along with. But I think Chelsea will be kicking themselves, especially seeing Diego Costa partying in an no, athletic no, no, no. shirt. It's not just Chelsea should be kicking themselves. Chelsea and Manchester City should have broke the effing bank for Leonardo Benucci. The fact that they oh, did. Oh, yes, absolutely. Unless it was like an underground transfer, unless they just, unless Juventus like rolled the van up and just dumped Benucci on there with like a pay 40 million. With the million old lady? And just like they just Venmo, it says Ven they Venmo <laughs> requested AC Milan 40 million euros and they just rolled them out there. They didn't want to wait the three or four day transaction fee from doing it with a, 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 another President country. of AC they Milan goes it, in, opens his office. Venmo, oh. Benucci. Benucci, what number would you like? All right, let us know what you think. Obama Yang, where is he gonna head? Which team is he gonna play with next year? It seems like it's gonna be Dortmund, but as we know, things could change uh, tomorrow morning. Let yeah. us know in the comments. He'll be on AC Milan tomorrow morning. All the social, <laughs> it would not surprise me either. See you soon.